Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here and I am back with another YouTube Tips video. It's been a long time since I've done a YouTube Tips video. And in today's YouTube Tips, we're gonna be talking about Let's Plays and commentaries. And I'm kind of doing this video because it was requested on my other channel. Now that I'm gonna be sending them over here to watch it because I think it works well in the YouTube Tips series. Because they said, hey, give us a video talking about some tips and tricks whenever you're doing Let's Plays and commentaries. And so here it is. And if you don't even know what a Let's Play is or a commentary is, basically there's a huge niche in YouTube that is growing exponentially where you play a video game or some PC game or whatever, and you record your voice or a webcam of you playing it, talking about either the game, life, or anything at all. So that's basically Let's Playing and commentary in a nutshell. And so in today's video, we're going to be talking about equipment that you should be using as a Let's Player, some of the content you should cover, and just some general tips and tricks you should keep in mind whenever you're making your Let's Plays. So first, let's start out with equipment. What kind of equipment are you going to need? Well, most Let's Players don't really show their face on a lot of the videos, so you're gonna to wanna to definitely focus on a microphone. Do not use an internal microphone on a laptop. That's the number one rule, do not use it. Uh, because it's tinny, it echoes, and bad noise, and room noise, and it's just not very good at all, and it's, that's, it's just honestly terrible. Um, don't buy a cheapo microphone that's five bucks at the dollar store either. I don't even know if they make $5 microphones. I'm sure they do somewhere. I mean, you're gonna to wanna to invest some money into a decent microphone. Now you say, what microphone? I started out with the Blue Snowball. Now I know a lot of people don't like the Blue Snowball because it's kind of maybe a more expensive mic than it needs to be. And also it captures a lot of room noise. That being said, a lot of my earlier videos here on this channel were filmed with the Blue Snowball as my microphone of choice. It's not a terrible mic, but it's not the best mic. Um, you can search some other mics on Google saying, you know, Blue Snowball comparison, what's the best mic for YouTube starting out? Something like that. But basically, you're, to get, basically you're going to want to buy a microphone. Um, to kind of the step up from the Blue Snowball is something like the Blue Yeti, which is also a USB mic. Um, you're definitely going to want a USB microphone if you don't have a soundboard or a mixer. Um, I actually use the Blue Spark, which is actually an XLR microphone, and it's definitely top tier in terms of YouTube mics, um, definitely not mics in general, but I use it. It's an XLR. It gives me amazing quality. I absolutely love it, and I've definitely got my money's worth out of it, and I use it every day almost, and I think it's a great choice if you really are getting serious about your Let's Playing and your commentary, and you've been doing it for a while. If you can't afford a microphone, just try to make use of what you have right now but just honestly, if you're serious about it, start saving up some money. Maybe not buy the Blue Snowball, it's like a $70 mic. Maybe buy something that's in the $50 range. That's your call, but I would suggest that you buy a microphone dedicated um, for this purpose of doing Let's Plays and commentaries. In terms of webcams, maybe a lot of Let's Players and commentators do not use webcams. Some do. If you are gonna go the route of a webcam, make sure it's HD because nobody wants to watch um, fuzzy webcam or something like that. I started off with a Logitech C310. It's a 1080p, or not 1080, it's a 720p webcam and it's okay. Um, but now I have the Logitech C920, which is a very nice 1080p webcam. Logitech has all kinds of webcams, you can check it out. But the main thing you're gonna, you're gonna focus on is a good microphone if you're Let's Playing. You're also gonna make sure that you have a decent build as terms of computer to play and record on if you're playing PC games. If you're playing uh, console games, you're gonna need something like an Elgato or a Hapage PVR. Um, but if you're using something like, if you're playing something like Minecraft, please make sure you have a good enough computer to play the game and record it. If you have a laptop with four gigabytes of RAM, that's not enough. You're pretty much gonna need your own custom build or an actually dedicated gaming laptop because you're gonna need a lot of processor power to run the game smoothly with good frame rates. You're gonna need processor power and RAM to run the recording software as well. And so make sure you have a decent power, decently powered PC. Like before, if you do not have the money to get such a build or a PC, make do with what you can, and eventually you will get there and be able to buy new equipment as you go down the road and get a job, get some money, save some money up. If this is something you're serious about and you really wanna pursue it, you will put money into it invest, and invest money into the journey of being a Let's Player. Now that's really all there is in terms of equipment that I can really think of. Um, some people use headsets. I don't really use a headset um, in terms of listening to yourself or listening to the game. I just turn the speakers on really low and just go at it. But microphone is one of the biggest things and make sure you have a decent system if you're gonna be playing PC games or recording them there. And so as far as content, what kind of content should you be talking about whenever you're doing your Let's Plays? 
Some people choose to talk about the game. Some people talk about their lives. Some people talk about issues in the world. Anything's really open and anything's really any fair. Pretty much anything's fair game. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, personally, I'm trying to make a switch from talking mostly about the games, at least for my channel, from the, just solely the games to maybe things that are happening in my life, kind of vlogging a little bit, but not really vlogging, vlogging, but just talking about things that have been happening, my opinions on things, and just broadening, broadening it up a little bit, broadening, can you say that? 10 times fast, actually. And so it's really up to you what you talk about. Just make sure you get the audience engaged and you ask them questions and you say, what's your opinion on this? Maybe not like your personal life. What's your opinion of me buying this car? Um, it really doesn't matter because you bought the car already. But whenever you're just talking to them, just talk, converse, ask them questions. If you're playing a game in like Minecraft, ask them for their input on a way you should build something. Um, should I use this? Should I use stone? Should I use wood? Um, stuff like that. Just get them involved. And just make sure you don't rattle on and on and on and on about the same thing in a video um, don't be saying um uh, 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 uh ums and plosives and stuff like that plosives is that the right word plosives are like pa ba ba ta uh, but filler words is what i'm talking about filler words are okay-ish in let's plays and commentaries but you shouldn't just be like today uh we're gonna play minecraft uh let's dig a hole no, you need to have at least an idea of what you're going to be talking about and don't be monotone the whole time and talk like this and talk like you're not even enjoying yourself. You're just talking like this and digging a hole in Minecraft. Use a little bit of excitement, use a little bit of tone, inflection, and make it interesting for people to listen to because nobody wants to listen to some monotone person just talk about digging a hole in the side of a mountain in Minecraft. I mean, I know I wouldn't. I watch people who I watch because they're entertaining. They are interesting personalities they aren't just boring and they're just fun to watch and make sure you are fun to watch as well another tip i would say is work with other people collaborate work with other youtubers um, i did a collaboration with becky megan and kestel caden over on the gaming channel we did feed the beast for a while and that did help my channel a decent amount and so whenever you are looking to collaborate with someone please just try to collaborate with somebody in your subscriber range because I've seen people in the Social Blade cat chat come in and say who have like 10 subscribers themselves looking to f collaborate with somebody that has 100,000, okay. Looking forward to collaborating with somebody that has 1,000 subscribers or higher. It's like, okay, dude, I know you're trying to mooch. Don't make it that obvious. Um, try to look for somebody who's kind of in your subscriber range to work with because you'll both help, help each other. And collaborating is a big deal in the gaming community. That's how you can really make your channel grow and that's how you can get to know other audiences and other audiences can get to know you. Another thing that I think a lot of people do not really realize is that you should try to be semi-professional, but you should still be comfortable and laid back. By semi-professional, I mean being able to keep your cool somewhat on the mic. Um, don't be like vulgar. I, I know some people are like this and you know that's their choice, but personally I find it like a big turnoff when people are dropping F-bombs or talking about vulgar stuff during their Let's Plays, it's like, dude, like, chill out. I'm going somewhere else. I feel like people should still act kind of professional and maybe even family friendly. Could you imagine that? My videos are all family friendly because I want anybody to be able to watch my videos without having fear of saying, should I be watching this? Are they going to say something bad? What if my parents walk in and they drop an F-bomb? Then I'm going to get in trouble for watching YouTube and then I'm never going to be able to watch YouTube again. I don't want that kind of stuff to happen. So I do keep my content family friendly. What it really comes down to is what's your personality? I mean, I know some people are like that. Some people are vulgar. And I guess if you want to put that on your YouTube channel, go ahead. But personally, I think it really shouldn't be because if you want to be considered a good Let's Play or a good commentator, or you want to be considered a professional, you should be putting stuff like that on there. But that's my opinion. Some other people might have different opinions, but it's what I found works best. And the people that I watch who have success generally follow that rule. That's not to say if you slip one or two times and you know, you're know you recording with somebody that says something you didn't really want them to say that you're like you're done with YouTube forever. No, mistakes happen, but just wanna keep some of that stuff in mind. Should you be doing this? Should you be saying this? Um, just general stuff. Um, that's really up to your discretion, like I said. Enough rambling about that. So that's really all I have for this video. Um, just some basic foundational tips for making good Let's Plays and good commentaries. And I know I'm not the ultimate guru because my channel is not the biggest that there is, but it's what I've seen other people use and it's what I've used and it's worked well so far and it's continu continuing. I can't say this word. I had troubles with it in the past couple of videos. Continuing, continuing to work well. Wow. 
I need to get like a little bar that says continuing like right there so I can say it. Um, but it's stuff that I found that works well. They're foundational tips. Like I said, good equipment, make sure your content's entertaining. Really the what content and what age rating really just depends on your personality, I suppose. But I find that the more family friendly you are, the bigger broad of audience you're gonna get because more people are gonna be able to watch your videos and enjoy your videos. And so hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below. I'll be happy to answer them. Also follow me on all my social links that are all in the description below there, there, like there, down there. And I'll be happy to answer any of your questions there as well, as well as just chit chat about anything, life, YouTube, or whatever. And so that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more videos relating to YouTube, tech, and vlogs and other stuff. And that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.